It's the most northwestern university in the mainland U.S. And it sits right under the nose of a major mystery. We have these active volcanoes right in our backyard. Western Washington University hosts a program dedicated to discovering what makes up some of the most dangerous volcanoes in the United States. It's like a mystery, right? Right, totally. Yeah, you look at that, you look at that volcano and right, it just looks like a mountain with snow on it. But, you know, I think when the four of us in this room look at that, we're envisioning what's happening like 20 kilometers beneath the surface. Professor of Geology Dr. Susan Dabari and Associate Professor Dr. Christina Walowski are obsessed with volcanoes. Sodas are bottled under pressure, and so when you release the cork, they start to release their gases a little bit. The Mentos is going to represent our gas. Let's see how this gas changes the personality of this Diet Coke. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. The obsession was a driving force for how they ended up in the Pacific Northwest. It was one of the most exciting pieces for me being hired here uh, 25 years ago at Western Washington University. I just like absolutely fell in love with not only going to these places but learning how they formed and what their his like why they look the way they do. And the pair, um, along with a professor from Central Washington University, are mapping out the inner workings of volcanoes. And about an hour drive from campus is the team's current muse. Mount Baker. Why is Comacultion different and how is its personality different? They use Mount Baker's native name, Comacultion, out of respect for the Native American tribes that call this land home. Volcanoes are creatures of habit. And so if we know what happened in the past, then we can use that information to um, be prepared for the future. Their goal is to figure out the story of Comacultion, when, how, and why it last erupted. And unveiling that mystery takes them to the field. You need a nice heavy hammer. This is a good sledge. Um, rocks are pretty hard. <laughs> DeBerry and Walowski with graduate student Amanda Florian Toe approach a rock face they discovered as the most recent massive eruption from this volcano. This is a 10 kilometer long lava flow who's, um, who ends up in Baker Lake. It's broad swings, dirty hands and heavy lifting that bring them the pieces of the puzzle they need. There you go. These were gas bubbles that were trapped inside the lava while it was flowing. What you and I might see is just a typical rock wall. These geologists see a story from 10,000 years ago that they bring to the surface with a hammer and a microscope. Back on Western Washington University's campus, Flory inspects the samples collected from Comacultion. So we're looking at this crystal here that's like you know, roughly a millimeter. But then we can go over here and look at all of the teeny tiny little crystals that you can't even see with the naked eye. Um, and we can look at those in a much bigger scale through this microscope. An electron microscope reveals rings on the crystals, giving the scientists a clue at the chemicals, temperature and pressure that formed it. So this is telling the story of growth from the very core out to the edge. They use this data to build a conceptual model of what the volcano looks like beneath the surface. They look at the volcano as a plumbing system. The part where it erupts would be the faucet and below a system of pipes. Our goal is to build these conceptual models of how any individual volcano works. So what is the plumbing system beneath it look like and how is that going to affect the eruption that may occur in the future? Yeah, every rock has a story. Graduate student Zenya Seidsinger hopes to take what she's learned from this project and turn it into helping communities sitting in the shadow of volcanoes, like Bellingham, home to Western Washington University, so they can plan and prepare for when an eruption happens. Oh yeah, that's a nice green one, actually. Having volcanoes in your backyard, it's just really cool to know that the, the research that we're doing is directly like impacting or important to the community that I've now come to be a part of. I think that's really cool. Like, I, I have the opportunity to tell the story of this volcano. With a presence ever looming over the Pacific Northwest, the danger that lies beneath will no longer be a mystery.